The Quran says, Ya Bani Israel, Askuru, Ni'mati Allati Anamtu Alaykum. So, O children of Israel, remember the special favors which I did unto you. Wa anni faddaltukum al alameen. That I preferred you above all the peoples of the earth for my special favors. He chose you. You say you are a chosen people. I say, yes, you are a chosen people. You say it's in the Bible. I say it's also in the Quran. You are a chosen people. Chosen for what? Because of your race? Because of your language? Because of your riches? No. You were chosen for a purpose. And that purpose is spelled out for you in, in, in your Torah, in the Bible, in the second book of the Bible called Exodus. Moses is made to say, Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. He says, Moses, now therefore, if ye will obey my voice, God is speaking through Moses, if you Jews will obey my voice and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me, something special. If you listen to God's voice, listen to his commandments, become right with him, he says, you will be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. Quran says, Wa anni al that I preferred you above all the peoples of the earth for my special favors. For all the earth is mine, says the Lord, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. That's your job. You are supposed to be a kingdom of priests. Guide mankind to the knowledge of God. That, that was the role that why God chose you. Now you have done away with that role. You have made your religion a racial religion. All the strife in the world, whatever happened in Germany, whatever happened for the past 2000 years, is on account of that you have lost that role. You are done away with that role. And if you do not carry out the duties and responsibilities which God had imposed upon you for making you the chosen people, he says in the book of Leviticus, the fourth book of Moses, chapter 26, verse 18. And after all this, if you do not obey me, God is talking. You Jews, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. There is a chance. There is a growing number of people among the Jews. There are people among the Jews who are crying for the, about the injustice, that you are worse than the Nazis. You're doing things that the, what the Nazis didn't do to you, you are doing to these poor Palestinians. And this is, as soon as the world opinion, the world is realizing, you know, not everybody is not asleep. They are knowing what's going on now. Day by day, more and more things are coming in the news. Daily, they are killing little children. Little, little children are being killed daily. This is the fate in the Times Magazine, Times Magazine, the weekly news magazine, International. We read there, the Palestinian question. So what manner of man would retaliate against a stone-throwing child by shooting him in the back? as he ran away. What kind of people are these who would shoot a stone throwing child by shooting him in the back as he ran away? What manner of government would retaliate by finding already poverty stricken parents a thousand dollars, demolishing their home and confiscating their meager possessions? What manner of people are these arrogant settlers who think they have a God-given right to commit such atrocities and still cry for more? What manner of people are we? that we permit our government to give away billions of the American taxpayers' dollars to Israel every year, enabling it to continue to subjugate the Palestinian people. What manner of people are we, the Americans? This man is an American, Alice F. Smith from Santa Barbara, California, in the Times Magazine, February 20th, 1989. There are people who are waking up to the situation and this will create either you change or destined for destruction.